to keep you updated, Listín Diario, the newspaper for the Dominicans, presents the most important news of the day. Thursday, May 26th of 2022, the Minister of the Interior and Police, Jesus Vasquez Martinez, warned that under no circumstances will the government allow unscrupulous groups to alter the peace and tranquility of the Dominican people, which is why they are working hard to deal with crime and the organized crime. The health authorities reported that they will establish the third dose of the COVID vaccine in young people aged 12 to 17 years as a complete immunization schedule and the application of the fourth dose as a booster for all over 18 years of age, voluntarily in both cases. An increase in the number of positive cases of coronavirus has been seen in the country since March 8th to date, starting from the onset of symptoms with those under 20 years of age contributing 44% of the cases. Although until yesterday no suspected cases of monkeypox had been identified whose virus is circulated in different nations, the country has the installed capacity to diagnose and treat this disease in the event that a patient presents itself. The director of the Dermatological Institute and Skin Surgery, Dr. Victor Po Suarez, says. The Attorney General of the Republic, Miriam Germán Brito, advocated the need to invest more resources to ensure that all prisons are monitored by a single security body and managed by an entity other than the public ministry. The government has focused on executing a program that through an energy tender contributes 2,000 megawatts to the system in a staggered manner whose process would allow a reserve to guarantee supply even with the departure of several plants, according to Andres Astacio, vice president of the Edes Energy Distribution Companies. In this edition, we also present an interview with the Spanish ambassador to the Dominican Republic. In this edition, we also present an interview with the ambassador to the Dominican Republic, Antonio Perez y Torra, from Spain. For this and more information, you can visit listindiario.com for Listing Diario, voiceover and translations by Indira Rodriguez. To keep you updated, Listing Diario, the newspaper for the Dominicans, presented the most important news of the day.